Hi everyone, my name is James Feeney. Welcome to or back to my channel. I wanted to come on today uh, to discuss something that uh, has been on my mind, I guess, for the last day or so. Well, it's been on my mind for months, but um, I felt inspired to start to share some of this recently um, in watching, it was Mary Grace Farron's video about people's opinions and I mean this is not a response it's not directly related to it but um sort of the feelings it engendered for me and the thoughts it provoked um it, that video got me going uh mentally so I decided to attempt to make a video about it now just like most of my videos are well in the beginning I was more of somebody who would try to write notes and script and I realized that that didn't really work for me and it was more distracting and more of a hindrance than a help. So I tried to go into these things without anything in mind other than the topic itself and maybe some cursory thoughts and um, little bookmarks or points to touch upon throughout. But this one especially, I don't know exactly how it'll go. I am thinking that, um, well, I have, I know what I want the title to be and I am going to make it a bit of a hashtag, not that I think that it will be not for the purposes of hoping to like disseminate it into, into the internet, but just because if there's anybody out there who would like to speak on this topic or just feels strongly where this is concerned and happens to stumble upon it, um, I'd love to know out of just a place of my own curiosity. So I am entitling this what the hell do we or I want? And I think that there are a lot of levels to where this will go. Um, I want to start, and part of what uh, made me think about this was in terms of this channel. And uh, recently, so I'll start there, and I'm go this is going to, I think, extrapolate into something more about um, life itself. So if that's something that's a little bit too heavy for your day, completely understand, but we're going to start with something a little bit lighter, which, well, at least I think, which is more so on the, on the surface or like w what pertains to this channel. So, um, recently I've met some really awesome, amazing people on, uh, YouTube and, uh, through Instagram, just like in the tarot community and related fields. So, um, that's really gotten me excited and into creating, uh, content more so as opposed to being what was what I was before, which was a lot more of an observer. So uh, I'd always wanted to make videos, but uh, I made a few throughout, but not much, and I was not at all consistent. So I think that um, feeling as though I'm starting to like find a bit of a community and have some like-minded people that I really uh, jive with is um, a great help, and it makes me feel like I'm a part of something which um, is awesome. But within that, of course, there's... Um, me finding my individuality, me deciding the exact direction that I want to go in and um, how to differentiate myself or like where I might stand in terms of um, all that goes on within um, YouTube and social media and um, for myself as um, I guess I would call myself a small business owner, I don't know, uh, with my tarot business and those sorts of things. Uh, so just figuring that out and what I want, where that's concerned, the kind of topics I want to talk about. So far, I've at least figured out that I don't really tend toward um, wanting to talk specifically about specific decks or things like that. I really enjoy talking about um, ideas and concepts and uh, things that I think are very important and related to, say, tarot and spirituality, but not um, the decks specifically themselves. Although that's something that I might, that might change and there might be some of that, but I don't see that being the main focus of my channel. Although that is a, a big chunk of what I actually watch on YouTube. Um, so I think that that's really funny, but I don't see myself be doing or being a creator who, um, who in part is really a part of that. Um, it just hasn't been my inclination. Uh, yeah, so I guess just like figuring out where I stand with that. And um, I think that, I not that I was taking an easy route in jumping on to say like VRs and responding to other people's um, videos and ideas. I don't think that that at all was an easy route. I think it was a great way for me to start to 
get comfortable in front of the camera and to get comfortable in sharing my ideas. But I do think that um, there is sort of like a, a pressure that I put upon myself to, I guess, fit in or um, to be liked or to uh, find my little place within something and um, to go about that in, through uh, just going with the flow and going about it in a way that is potentially less authentic for the sake of not creating waves or just um, out of fear. And I don't think that that's right at all. Um, and I do think, I, I'm not saying that I don't, that I want to like be unliked or things like that, but just that um, that shouldn't be a concern uh, at all. I don't think, I think that the the purpose and why I came to YouTube in the first place was because I wanted to find like-minded people and to be able to share my ideas and to feel as though I had a voice and could contribute, could contribute something. So um, in circling back to what it is that I want, what it is that we want, um, we all want different things in coming to say making videos or even just in coming to YouTube to be an observer. And I think that being cognizant of what those wants and those desires are um, as opposed to just acting blindly and not trying to, to pay attention to those motives is um, dangerous. And I've recently caught myself just um, questioning my motives, my actions, my desires, uh, and trying to understand why it is that I have them and what um, from what sort of place do they stem and what do they really mean? Uh, what am I getting at? And I think that in understanding that... Um, there's a lot more to be found as opposed to just acting based on um, like blind feeling or impulse. So that's where the channel is concerned. I, I wish that I could come on here with say like a plan of like, I have this idea and I'd like to um, let it unfold or to embark on this journey. I don't at the moment. I think that I've really enjoyed making the, the few videos that I made on say masculinity and femininity. Those are areas for me that are personally very interesting. So I think uh, subject matter that is like of those uh, more idea, uh, theoretical or like, not theoretical, but like more philosophical, not philosophical either. Hmm. And it's not, I'm not going to categorize those things, but just talking about ideas, I think that that's where I'm going to the direction that I'm going to go in. Now, uh, that was just the surface level, but I think that like what I'm really getting at is what do any of us really want? Um, I say this coming from a place of just being in a really um, intermediary, uh, I, I know that a lot of us like the word liminal, liminal space, liminal time. Uh, I've just graduated college. Uh, I've found it a lot more difficult than I thought to uh, figure out exactly what path I want to be on and what I want to be doing. I thought I would have it, maybe not that I'd have it all figured out at this point, but that I wouldn't be as lost as I am this many months after having um, finished my studies. And um, continuing to feel more and more lost uh, following that period and thinking that I had a really, really definitive goals and plans uh, right when I had completed that time in my life versus now a few months later where I feel even further from reaching some semblance of um, a path. And um, it's frustrating. It's um, It can really suck that motivation out and can... Uh, I just feel like that I'm in a period of potential stagnation. So uh, what is to be done there? What do I really want? And I've been grappling with that, this idea for a while. And I know that this is not just something that somebody who say has just graduated um, ha is, is deals with. I think that there are a lot of people throughout their lives and a lot of us will face this um, many times throughout our lives. If you're out there and you at all resonate with this, um, that's awesome. And if you're out there and you feel like you are not in this place, I would also be super curious to know about um, your path and what it is that you want, I guess, in life, want. Now, I'm gonna, there are some wants that I think are pretty universal. Um, we have, like, uh, I think we all, 
and of course I'm not meaning to speak for anybody, but I think that we all want to be happy. We would all, we all want to have a purpose. We all want to feel fulfilled. We all want to feel loved. Um, things like that, of that nature. And those are super, super broad um, topics. And I think that um, trying to actually personify or um, find them in what form they suit us in life is where we really run into those difficulties. Um, what makes us happy? How do these things interact? Will happiness um, bring about love? Will love bring about happiness? Will purpose bring about self-love and happiness? Will happiness bring about purpose? Will I feel fulfilled having found my purpose? There, I think that there's um, a really interesting interplay here and I think that um, they aren't just these parts that exist in a vacuum, very isolated from each other. I think that most of the things that we want in life actually are very interconnected and ultimately will have a great degree of overlap um, just in their um, presence, I guess, and uh, how they come into being. I think that um, having all these things figured out is um, very rare or feeling as though we have them completely un unequivocally figured out is quite rare, uh, at least based on the conversations I've had and my experiences. So I'm not here um, rambling in hopes of I myself finding and feeling so content with having um, acquired these things that I want. Uh, that's not it. But I do think that having discussions about what it is that we want and maybe even just um, breaking them down a little bit more um, and having dialogues about these things with each other, creating like a space to be able to talk about these things is really important. Uh, it can be really isolating when you feel lost or um, not disinhibited. Uh, yeah, when you feel a little lost just because I think that there's um, some shame associated with that for a lot of us. I know for myself personally, there's shame, there's fear. Um, you almost don't want to admit these sorts of things, um, or at least I don't. Uh, so I think that even just in coming on here and talking about it is um, helpful for me. But uh, yeah, I mean, I know that there, there are a lot of things that I, in theory, want and hope to find some sort of, some sense of like meaning and purpose through and happiness. I mean, I have my tarot business and I'm quite young and I'm quite new to, to reading professionally. So that's been um, tough. I didn't expect it to say take off um, in, a, in a really monumental way at all. And, but at the same time, it is, it can be frustrating when um, it's not, it doesn't feel like there is any significant growth over a span of time despite effort put in. Uh, likewise, figuring out what it is that I would like to do, of course there's that, but is that reasonable and can I survive off of that now? No. Um, so what else is there? And that in and of itself has been really difficult just um, career related, what doesn't feel soul crushing, but at the same time will provide for me. And um, that's been really freaking difficult. I have applied and interviewed for so many jobs and just thought to myself that I cannot imagine myself going to this job, doing this every day for like, the amount of time of your life that that takes up that doesn't really feed you in any significant way, to me, that's terrifying. Um, and I've been through like jobs that I hated and um, experiences like that. And it's just, it feels like it's getting harder and harder to put up with. So coming to terms with what that means and where I will actually wind up and what that will mean for me and how to go about these things. I know that this is quite the ramble and I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to post this, but um, for anybody out there who's just feeling a little bit down and out or lost in terms of your path, I, um, I welcome you to respond to this 
and uh, I would love to know for people that have uh, say found what they what they believe to be their path or they know that they're on their path uh, and their experiences in getting there uh, trials and tribulations and things like that these I think experiences and sharing these experiences with each other is um, very helpful and can just mean a lot in terms of feeling not so alone or that um, there is something to be had. I mean, of course, I'm not sitting here thinking that um, I will never reach these things. That's um, not my mindset. But it is tough uh, sitting not exactly knowing what you want and at the same time just feeling like you are super lost and you don't even know where to start to get unlost. Um, I mean, I've turned to spirituality, tarot, uh, a bunch of different, there are so many names for the various things, and uh, so I won't go into all of that, but yeah, just um, that was all spurred in, I guess, um, not wanting to feel so superficially vested in something that didn't feel right, like the, the, the artifice of the world and the materialistic and aesthetic um, importance placed upon and um, widely accepted. So, yeah, I guess. And then I turn to that thinking that that will be the path. And it feels right, but where do I go with that? How do I use it to feel as though I have a purpose um, and provide for myself and to be happy? Uh, there's just a lot to be had there and a lot to be discovered. And um, I've heard stories from a bunch of wonderful people on YouTube who um, about their paths and their struggles and their triumphs. And I think that those are so beautiful. And I want to also use this channel as a way to record milestones or chapters within my own life, both... Um, awesome, pleasant, positive ones, as well as um, more contemplative periods of time, or potentially, um, I don't want to call it negative, but um, struggles. I think that that also is helpful. Um, maybe in a few months, I'll look back on this, and it'll mean something more, or I'll find some nugget from the past that will help me then. Um, maybe I'll be in a better place, and having watched this video, I will feel as though I have... Um, figured something out to some degree. I mean, I'm just starting to hopefully um, pick at the questions, let alone investigate any potential answers as far as these bigger questions go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this ramble in some way, shape, or form, uh, if you're still watching or if you're watching. Uh, yeah, feel free to potentially respond, and I hope you're all having a good day and that you maybe know what you want and if you don't um start thinking about it all right bye guys